The true story of Victoria's Secret is a tragedy about a man named Roy Raymond. After opening the company in 1977, it seemed like the sky was the limit for Roy. Victoria's Secret earned $500,000 in its first year, and by the 1980s, it was raking in more than $4 million in annual sales. Roy was living the dream, right? Wrong. Despite those earnings, Roy wasn't much of a numbers guy, and as a result, the company was on the verge of bankruptcy. So Roy ended up selling the business to Les Wexner in 1982, who was later exposed as a, uh, not a great guy. That is a story for another day. He sold Victoria's Secret for for a mere one million dollars, staying on as CEO for another year while opening another business, My Child's Destiny, aimed to sell high-end items to the kids of professional couples. That was in 1984. By 1986, that company was also filing for bankruptcy, with Roy responsible for all the lost money. He lost his houses, his cars, and eventually his wife. In 1993, he was found dead by the Marin County Coast Guard, having jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. In truth, Victoria's real secret is that of a dark tragedy of a failed businessman who never saw his good idea truly reach its potential.